Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. So let's continue here. Now, when I moved this to my other screen, I found that uh, there's not enough space on this side. There's too much on this side. So let's move the midpoint a little bit this way. Let's reduce the font here a little bit. So I have a file that I created here to show us the table um, the tables that we need but before we do that let's deal with uh, the view here so this is the this is the home view so back to the home view so this one here is one of the columns and it's at six that's how much space is sharing which is half and the same thing is on uh, this one. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, div column six. I want to find another instance of this, which is right there. Okay, so column six here, but I want this one to have more space. So I'm just going to put this one at seven and this other one will be at five because it still has to add up to 12 in total so let's see how that works there and you can see it has moved a little bit this way to give less space there and also i want to reduce the size of these images a little bit so instead of 220 let's put 200 here so i'm going to uh, select all the 220s by pressing ctrl d Select one, then press Ctrl D if you're using uh, Sublime Text. And I will change that to 200. Let's see how that works. Okay, that's much better. Let's reduce the text on the product. That's way too big. So this one is this part that has text muted. So let's try this to select it like so. Actually, it's font size 20 here that has this effect. So what I'll do is remove this font size 20 and then just add it to uh, the amount itself. So drag it to here like that. So let's see how that works on one item. And yeah, I'm loving that. So let's do the same thing here. Select the style 20 and move it to the text div same thing here ba -ba -ba. down to this one and that was the final one so save let's see how that looks and we are in business too much space between these two though uh, between so this padding four may be too much yeah so let's reduce this P4, select it, oops, I went too far, there are just three here, select one, control D, let's change to two, let's see what we have, okay, that looks more reasonable, let's reduce the my point of sale, um, let's see here, items, where else is, Oh, so that's the app name here. So it's on H2, but <clears throat> let's reduce this to H4, H4. And let's see, okay, much, much better. Maybe the padding as well can reduce to one. So P1, we need as much real estate as we can get here to display more items. So this one will dis display the number of items in the cart. But for now, since we have this, let's create the visual for this section here, okay? And if we look at our file, the reference file here, this is the one, uh, we have a small picture here, and then we have this on one side, and we have so we can separate these into boxes. So there's the box for the image and the second box that contains the rest of this. And then we can have a box at the top here for the title 
and then we can have a box much lower which will contain the price and uh, the quantity here okay so let's see how we can uh, do that real quick here so this is the section right here under this table with image description and amount so since we already have an image uh, something similar here this is one card so card start card end i'm going to copy this and let's go down here to the table so the table is right here now each one of those items should be in a separate row so here let's zoom in i'm going to do a table row like this so one row here will have a card inside now for every column here we need to put table data so td there that's the first one for image we need the second one for description and the other one for the amount so oh yeah so this is how i created it so the description will contain the quantity as well the amount we just have the amount so let me duplicate this second third like that and let me paste this content here uh, so that's one card but let's move card here to this position like so and call this one item okay and item here as well okay so now the reason I pasted this here is because I want to get some of this information. So description had class text muted. So let's copy this and add the same on the second table data. And then we got coffee soft drink. So that's the text. Let me move that there. But what we can do in order to really lean into this we can separate these two let's see am i correct here so table each one should have an opening and a closing so this one is on the wrong place it should be in between these let's move this one down all right so this one contains the amount now i do want to keep the font size 20 so what i'll do is just uh, get this style and add it to that and then the B, I, sh I want to keep as well, the bold. There we go. And um, what else? What else? The image. So the image here, we don't need to click on this image at all. So we don't need this href. We can just get the image itself and put it right there. Now, width should not be 100%. Anyway, we can... Let me put a style instead. So I'll do style. And on this one, I'll say width 100 pixels. And then let's do height as well, 100 pixels. Okay, so I think uh, we are doing well. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me delete this part there we go uh -huh. let's see what that gives us so refresh and there we go so coffee amount down here we can put a quantity counter uh, something to increase the quantity but this thing here is not aligning properly it's stretching to the edge so this could be caused by uh, uh, what you call this flex box yes so there's an image here and we have specifically told it the width to be 100 pixels and height to be 100 pixels so normally it should obey this but maybe because I put W100 here that's what's causing problems so let's remove that one and let's try again and there we go so we are in business very cool now since we know the image here will always be 100 pixels we can actually limit the width of this thing so 
I'm just going to add a style of this one. So let's say style uh, width of this. Let's put it at 110 pixels just to leave a little room for a margin. Okay, so image, description, and then amount on this other side. So the description is here now below the description. I want us to add this box right here. So this box has a, um, a number and two uh, boxes on the other side. So I think I've seen something similar to this in um, on Bootstrap website. So let's check it out. Let's go to forms. Hopefully my network is great here. Let's go to form control. Let me see if I can get something I like here. Or we might check out the input group. Uh, that's more likely to have what we want. But let me see what forms comes up with. Yeah, and just like I thought my internet is really slow maybe because i'm using my internet device to record sound at the same time so maybe that's probably why but let's see here uh, i'm looking for something like this see where we have an item in here and the second one similar to this but i want to see if there's um, let's go to input group instead i think we'll have more variety there uh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. This very first item here, username. Cool. So let's copy the code for this one. I'm going to copy it from here. Copy. And I want to add this right here with the, the text. So I will move this whole thing like that. And then within it, I will put my code. Like that from the Bootstrap website. In case you don't, you can't see that uh, Bootstrap website for some reason. Here is the text down here. So as you can see, there's an at here at the beginning. Let me show you how this looks like now. Let's go back here, refresh. Okay, so this is what we get. Username doesn't look like much. But the first thing we have to do is change this type. Uh, actually, text is okay. Placeholder should be a one. And let's remove these. Uh, we won't be needing these. Therefore, accessibility options, where if a blind person is trying to uh, view the page and the page is reading to them, that would be the information used. So here I want a minus sign. Now, if I copy this and put it on the other side as well of the input, I can put a plus sign there. So from control, placeholder. Uh, now, the ID here is not required because it's not really being used at all. So let me do that. We'll only put IDs on things we want to access. And then let me put a value as well here. So value one. Okay. And uh, let's see what we've got. Now, I could have put type number here, but the problem is number comes with an up and down uh, control, which we don't want because we are actually designing that on our own. So we have a plus and we have a minus on the other side. Now, if you don't want, um, or you want to display a bigger one using font awesome, since we have font awesome, let's put an I tag, let's put a class, let's do FA, fa minus and uh, let's see how that looks let's remove the actual minus sign here and compare so that looks much better because it's bigger and i'm going to copy this and put it here and put plus of course so that's minus and plus right there very cool. Now I can limit the width of this thing by just adding a style to this uh, table, this div and say width, maybe uh, let's say 100 pixels. Let's, okay, maybe too little. Let's try 150. I'll just say max width, that way it has room to resize down. Okay, so there we go. So we have a number 
uh, let's see the comparison here okay only that these guys are blue so let's try and do blue here so we're just going to say text primary okay so the primary color will be affecting the text in there and it didn't seem to have done anything well maybe uh, directly adding it so let's move let me cut this and I shall put it inside this minus and plus text primary and also inside the form control like that and let's see what we got okay it's working mm hmm very cool now I wanted to leave some space on the top so I'm going to this one is margin bottom so let me remove the B so that it becomes just margin like this okay uh, maybe margin X for left and right no actually Y for top and bottom because that's all I care about okay that's much better so nice and we need a cursor here um, let's see what do we get uh, style on this one let's put a style and say cursor and let's put a pointer there that way the buttons themselves um, you can tell that you can click on them to do something to increase the number or reduce the number very cool maybe you don't need to put text muted here let me remove this instead let me text put text uh, primary to change the text color there refresh okay that's much better mm -hmm. okay so if we now duplicate this you see why it says item item and that's where we can add the loop so let's do this boom and then we will have two of these okay very very good all right so i'll see you in the next video where we continue